This isn't until 3.30 tomorrow, but some fans are already staking their claim to a spot to tailgate. NBC4 Sean Lanier caught up with some diehard Buckeye fans who are ready for tomorrow's showdown. Sean? That's right. They can start setting up Thursday after 5 p.m. And I want to show you, they want to set up their tents and their caution tape, but they are concerned about the weather. I want to show you one of these tents that do, they, it does not have the cover on it because they're afraid of any potential weather may blow that away, but it's not going to blow away or stop any fun celebration tomorrow before the game. It may seem late, but for some people, it's never too late to find the perfect spot to tailgate for the Big Ten showdown on Saturday. Usually there's uh, more spots than there are tonight. It seems like everyone's out here a little bit earlier tonight uh, taking spots for the big game tomorrow. Some set up tents, others mark their spots off with caution tape. It's a tradition that never gets old. 10 years, 15 years, who counts anymore? We're just out here supporting the Buckeyes. These two have stopped keeping up with the years they've been tailgating, but they are keeping up with each other's tailgate ambulance. So they don't have to tape anything off or use tents. They simply park and let this vehicle be the party on Saturday. The uh, ambulances are... Uh... A lot of uh, a lot of work, but we enjoy doing it, and uh, they're great. Yeah, did all did all the work ourselves uh, on both of them, so uh, we get good crowds down here, and they just enjoy the day, and uh, we have fun. And it's all about having fun tomorrow, but of course they want to win the game. So a lot of the fans I spoke with said they expect a close game, but an Ohio State victory. I know we all here in Central Ohio are hoping for the same thing. Live in Columbus, Sean Air. NBC4. That's true, Sean. Thank you so much. NBC4 has you covered on game day. Join us for live pregame coverage beginning at 8 Saturday morning, tomorrow morning on NBC4 today. Then after the game, NBC4 will have live coverage from the stadium, followed by Pepsi Sports Saturday at 730 with all those highlights. Tonight marks three weeks since a woman's body was discovered in the rubble of a fire in the North Linden area. The fire happened on Arlington Avenue on October the 2nd. But Kim Davis Tucker's body wasn't found until four days later when someone noticed it in the rubble. After that discovery, Fire Chief Steve Martin told, fire, told us rather firefighters spoke with the property owners when the fire happened and they said everyone was accounted for. He says the garage was locked from the outside and they had no reason to believe that anyone was inside when that fire started.